exactly. Like, I love how Benny Hinn said it. The Word of God, it, it's not just a book to you. It becomes like living bread, hot, hot bread. I love how he said that. I'll never forget. He says, he says when you're, I don't know exactly, he said, when you're in the spirit or a certain timing, a certain frame, and you read the Word of God, it becomes like hot bread. I love that because that tastes good. I haven't eaten no food in four days. I'm hungry for the food of God. So, oh Jesus. A better statement comes. See, God will flood out negative thinking and give me a better statement that crowns my mind. And there's a going power that's unlocking. So the Lord's teaching me how to stop thinking and start prophesying. So he's tr changing the administration of my ministry and the presentation. Like I'm just seeing it now. All these strings, these, you know, I'm seeing all this yarn and all these strings and all these yarn balls or these cute, whatever the like pill shaped things, whatever they're in unraveling. And like, God is just like, just putting things together, like putting fabric together, putting ideals together, putting design together, but all connected, all in a flow, knitting things together, quilts, quilts of wisdom, <laughs> uh, blankets of paradise. All these things are being put together right now. They're being formulated in the spirit. Jesus is the master quilter. Heavenly picker-upper. You know that bald guy, Mr. Clean? Well, Holy Ghost clean. Spray the divine Windex on the eye and tunnel of the soul. It's my job. Yeah, so that's good. So he's teaching my mind how to go into prophecy. And speaking accuracy into the futuristic of my now. So it'll build my expectation, it'll build my walk, build my life, increase my joy, increase my journey, increase my life. And then, so it's good, so let's keep going. Because I, I believe I have to let go to retrieve. And there's a slowness in my listening, listening to the voice in slowness. I've noticed that it unlocks a power in me. So I got to let go. And there are tools. Letting go can be surrender. Letting go can be just doing something without having to think it's right or wrong. Letting go of judgment. In that, in that I retrieve. And I notice, see, there's like, there's like this extension, right? Like, let's talk about extension cord. Let's say you have an extension cord. And see, the Lord right now is teaching me how to base things like off life, like prophetic things off symbolism of life. Prophecy, symbolism, life. And so the Lord says, the Lord gave me this education system in my spirit. Like it's another realm. And the Lord gave me the second part of my business ministry. And as I'm obedient to the first step, he showed me the second step. But as I'm obedient to the first step, he'll give me the second step. See, God will show you, but then he'll give you. So he'll show you, and then when you're obedient, he'll give you. That's a secret formula that I learned. So you have this outlet, right? And it has eight capacities for plugs. What's all plugged into that? Do you have a bunch of leisure plugged into that? Services that don't really glorify God in instantaneous ways? What's plugged into that surge? You need to unplug distraction, unplug certain systems that don't really... See, in my life, I've learned and I'm learning how to immediately stay and tap into the power and presence and glory of God. And it didn't happen overnight for me. This is, it's a lifelong journey. If you think mastery is a settlement where life stops, the battery should last 25%. All right, well, we still got 25% left. That's enough. God will extend my grace. He will extend my provision. Before, I'd make many videos, 
But the Lord's like, we're just going to record one full segment, one full sphere, and then we're going to combine it. And then by you mentally training yourself, programming yourself like this, I'll give you a grace to do even bigger and greater than you could have ever done on your own. But it's by filling and understanding. See, sometimes obedience is seeing the way God wants you to see. Many times, the waters of Christ, obedience is there is a reflection and a melody that God is adding to my speech. As I speak, God is adding layers of virtue. And as I just speak the word, the ocean will manifest. The wind waterfall shall accumulate and manifest. So there's multiplication triggers I'm seeing. So many times, another level in the Holy Ghost. So there's a reward system that's activating as I speak. This is the expression and expansion of God, the Spirit. And many times there will be focused names and representations God's want me to use. Like in this sequence, he might say, use the name Jesus. In this sequence, he might say, use the name Spirit. It's a code, a reference, and a secret. In this sequence, use the name El Shaddai. And the attributions and the contributions of my connection towards this will be in perfect timing. Many times, obedience is... God tells you to be more focused in this area. And the more you do that and enter into that obedience, you get. Obedience is the hand that gives you. The mind of God can show you. But it's the hand of God that gives you the vision. Many times obedience, I know for me, is letting go of thinking, letting go of what I think is good, what I think is better, like letting, like sacrificing that. And then a, an altar lifestyle is a sacrificial lifestyle. When you look at the Old Testament, the overview of the Bible is unlocking in our conscience and speaking and presenting from the overall melody of Scripture is like a U-Haul of power, transporting many dimensions of angelic goods from the storehouse of heaven. Angels bringing in packages like Amazon. A new effect of beauty, a new display of love, a new realm of possibility, a new extension of grace, a new form of matter, a new way of procedure, a new entering in a new mentality blessing, a new path, all these pathways, all these boxes, they open and there's pathways in them. And it's not just the gift that's so important. That's the start of it. That's the, the gift is only the seed. It's the pathway of the gift. Now we enter into vision, open vision, and we stay there and express from vision. I'm telling you, God is doing something so marvelous right now in our lives. And please remember, if you're with me, Everything is yours as well. That's what you need to understand. I don't even want to explain this anymore. I've explained this like a million times and I just want to, but let me explain it one more time and let there be a finalization. Whenever you're watching anybody on YouTube, any, anywhere, any, any, anywhere, you receive their blessing. You receive what got so, okay, I'm, I'm done talking about that. I've talked about that way too many times on an explanation level. And I'm tired of talking on an explanation level. I want to speak from now on on a visionary level, on a prophetic level, on a God level. No more explanation. See, there are explanation levels that hinder God. And okay, and I'm done with that. So I just want to tell you, I just release that now in Jesus' name. And then, God. So let's stay back in the vision. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There is a... There is a maximum of strength and energy that has been hit today. So I'm just surging with so much insight right now that it's not me waiting to, for God to give me insight. I'm just in the realm of all insight. So I can literally pick God's mind right now and begin to speak on something straight from his head, straight from his brain, straight from the DNA of God himself. And so it's not just a gift but it's the, it's the flow of the gift. 
It's the extension and the measure and the abilities that are in the gift. That release God. Now there are these structures that are coming upon my spirit and mind that are structuring me into the empowerment of God. And it's like these traps, not demonic traps, but God himself trapping me from not getting in my flesh when I come to these videos. It's like these structures and these divine, I don't know what they are. They look like fans, but they look like keepers. It's, it's keeper power, stability power, and staying power that's preventing me from getting in the flesh of my mind. I see like my mind, but I see like the organs of my body and like this planktophainton or what, what is it called? Planktophainton and like the, the cerebral walls. I don't know. I'm seeing like some weird stuff, but the Lord's like, I'm going to shield you from getting in your flesh. So I'm going to build these structures and these walls with angelic powers. And these angels are all on these, like I played this video game, like these angels are all on these flying cliffs and they're putting their hand towards me. It's like an organization being given to me, not just a single angel to watch me on a single mission, but an organization is being given to me because this is an organizational power, this YouTube channel. Oh, God. Where did you go in the spirit today? Man, brother. You know how you travel to... Let me put my, let me put my phone over here. You can see, I'm about to rest my head on this window and talk. See, I kind of like that it's kind of dim in here. It's kind of dark, so you can just hone into my voice. Not what I'm wearing. Not how sexy my mustache is. Not, oh, I need to shave. Like, you can just hear the voice. And there's a quietness in this vehicle. There's no air conditioning. So it's my voice is captured. When you capture the voice, you capture the anointing in the voice. And it's a, it's a crystal clear. When's the last time you prayed to God to supercharge your hearing? A crystal clear hearing, a supercharged hearing. Energize my hearing. Energize my mind energize my light. You know how you can just pray to God all day and every time you say it, he does it immediately? You're like, you never want to stop praying and asking God to elevate you, to promote you. Like, you should be asking every day for God all day. You know how, instead of spending three hours trying to figure out how you could be promoted, and I'm not hating on that, but just go to the master himself and just say, God, promote me like this, elevate me like this, bless me like this. It's that simple. You know, the supernatural is actually the simplest. To, to live in the supernatural is the most simplest things in the world, but we over exacerbate it. It's like the most. It's so when you get to a level of simplicity, and that's not easy to reach. Because we humans think that simplicity is down a downgrade of power. We think power is just yelling, shouting. Get it, having big muscles, having superhuman powers. No. It's actually sacrificing all that to become a kid all again, to become a baby all again, to become a baby that is so dependent on his, the milk of his mother. That dependency is a form of the childlikeness that Jesus spoke to his disciples. Dependency is one of those attributes. Humbleness. It's one of those formulas. So it's like, what is the science, which is the formula, which is the rhema, which is the original of God's work? So you got to go to the original of a thing. Uh, lately, Yeshua, Yeshua, I've been reading the, what is it, the Hebrew Bible. And it's taking me back. Yeshua, it's using the words Yeshua. There is a tenderness in my spirit, in my voice, I've never felt before. Now, the quiet stillness, I'm able to pinpoint the voice of it. Not the thought of it, not the book I read of it, 
Not the video I watched of it. Not the YouTube of it. The actual voice of it. And there is a sweet smelling aroma and fragrance in that. Fragrance. 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 I don't know why I'm seeing Cheerios in the spirit right now. A bowl of milk and Cheerios. Why is that Lucky Charm guy taste the rainbow? Why am I seeing that memory of when I was nine years old? When I did Kung Fu at his house. When we climbed up the tree and he left without saying goodbye because he was so excited. To get back to the culture of his family. And that day I spilled Kool-Aid. But because the person honored and reverenced me, he blamed it on his own brother. Instead of speaking the truth that I spilled the Kool-Aid on that floor. May that memory be forgiven and healed and lifted to God as a shine, as a shrine, as an atonement. I cover it in the blood of Jesus and give it to God. There's something supernatural I learned. you got to give your memories to God. See it? And then uncode it. The Holy Spirit gives you the revelation of that moment. And you give it to God. I believe to tap into some of the highest levels of the prophetic, the prophecy, the prophetic, the prophetic, the prophetic, is to understand how to give your memory to God. And to decipher your memory. Not to have, not just to remember, to decipher. The one that can decipher meaning, the one that can decipher is the one that can interpretate. The one that interpretates, he said, will not taste death. They will surpass it. They will surpass decay, all these things, and be translated. See, the surpassing of death is the translation of life. So I believe Enoch, and you look at Elijah, and you, you see, you have to ask, why were they translated to heaven? There's, there's a reason. And the codex of where the deciphering power is manifested and meditated upon. So you don't just have power, but you meditate upon, you meditate in power. That will give you so many transactions and upgrades, DNA upgrades. Because when you're silent and within, now you're on a DNA level, not a physical level. Not I need money in my bank account. Which brings me to my next point. There is this angel of wealth and this spirit of wealth that is so, it is a force. It's not even, it's a force I feel coming upon my life and right behind me. And wherever I go to produce wealth, that spirit and power is going to be, a, it's, a, it's a momentum and a force and it's coming from all that I've given. I've given up so much money in my life. And I had, I've had people ask me in their carnality, where has that got you? You've given your money to God. I've had people say that you've given your money. Ooh. Let me give you a secret. When people criticize you, make fun of you, persecute you about God, it triples. Quadri oh, God, you ain't ready for that. I know Jesus told me to stop saying that. Don't say you're not ready, but say you are ready. Otherwise, you're telling your people they're not ready and you're making them feel they're not ready. Even though you're just joking off the excitement you feel in the humor, excitement, joy, and humor are a correlation and regulation of the favor of God and a supernatural dimension of his laughter from the vocals of his tongue, his voice. So let me, let me, just, let me try to finish this because I feel God so strong when I'm talking about this. I want to feel God on every word I speak. Otherwise, I'm not satisfied. So when people begin to criticize, you see a person can, can, in the Bible tells you, a person can criticize you for being ungodly. That's cool. But there's this secret in the verse. And I may not say it word for word, but he says, but when you're persecuted for righteousness sake, so he says you can be persecuted, hated on whatever for doing evil. And that's OK. But when you're persecuted for righteousness sake, blessed are you. Blessed are you. So when people hate on you and I want to give you a secret. And I feel the power. I feel the spirit of God. I don't just feel the power. I feel his spirit on this so strong. When people hate on you or criticize you about what you're doing for God, 
you'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it because it multiplies the power of God. It actually multi if if people make fun of you because you're giving your money to God and he hasn't made you a millionaire yet, it actually puts him in a position to move faster on your life. That's the secret of hatred. That's the secret when people hate on you. That's the secret when people persecute you. It causes God. So you need to embrace your haters. Because if you only knew the secret formula of the acceleration of God, when people start hating on you, like people will tell me, Matthew, you're giving all your money to God. That's What has that done for you? Like, what has that got you? And by them doing that, even though they, they weren't being mean, they weren't hating, but by them doing that, it accelerated God on my life. It accelerated my financial power. Okay? So you need to be thankful for the critics. Because a lot of times the critics, they'll get you into an acceleration that you being all powerful and righteous yourself haven't got you sell, gotten into. Okay? A lot of times when the devil surrounds you, you don't realize that, you don't even realize either, that just got you into a higher level of surrounded power from God. There we go. See, when you know eternity and infinity lives inside of you, then, now the video says it's about to die or whatever, go off. So I'm just going to leave with the final touches. Final, you know. I'm like in a hyper state right now, just being drained. And I'm going to go one last long round of momentum. And I'm gonna go in my room and not do too much moving. I'm gonna truly rest and just listen to God. And I believe I'm gonna be raptured or captured up in a new level with God. And I'm not even gonna drink a bunch of stuff, maybe just some water. Because I just went on to such a deep level. Like right now, I'm just in a like a... I, they finally gave me a week off work or hopefully a week. And I'm and I'm in a deeper fast. I'm giving more than ever. I believe right. I believe I'm right. Like in a point God wants me in. But there's many other points of focus He wants me to be in. And there's many other points of gaining He wants me to be in. And there's many other points of... Loyalty he wants me to be established and there's many more covenants and blessings that he wants me to be a part of And I just have to let go of my mind and my own limitations And just let him his spirit flow Excuse me I feel so detoxified in the spirit It's rather marvelous Yeah, so for the rest of the night, no fidgeting. Like, I'm just going to be in my room, probably on my computer, and just watch God stuff. This gameplay video I was watching. Um, just watch Gaia. And I'm just going to sit there, meditate a little bit. And I'm just going to let God do some final finishing touches on me. The Bible, let's keep that open, put it back over here on the passenger seat. Keep it open. We're going to save the rest of this cold coffee. I drunk all my organic energy drinks this week. I'm just going to sit back until the video goes off and just kind of watch a little movie. And because just give God all my voice. Even when I can barely whisper, just give it to him. But I can barely think, just give him more of my mind. Give him more when I feel less. Because you always have the ability to give more to God when you don't feel like it. You always have the ability to worship more. Say hallelujah, sing to him. Jesus. You always have you always have more to give. You always have more to give. It doesn't matter what you feel, how tired, you know how your heart never stops beating? You ever wonder the secret behind that? You go to sleep, your heart, boom, 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 boom. You always have more to give. 
more life to give. And there are mighty angels just arresting demonic gargoyle powers that were against me and rose. Throw them into the fire. Let them burn. The torment rise and rise and ascend before the Lamb of God. Stinking stench of that. Yep. That's finalized, so... Um... So I have to prepare myself for the week that's coming up. Because the Lord's like, you, you're fasting heavily. But now I need you to recover heavily. I don't want you to figure it out in your mind. I just want you to see the revelation of the Spirit and the unfolding as you seek my face. You're always trying to figure out the past in your mind. I don't want you to do that. There's something going on in my house right now. Like, you just can't go this deep in the Spirit with God and, like, supernatural things don't start exploding all over the place in your life. Because once you activate it in your life, it will activate physically everywhere. You keep trying to gain a hole in a physical portion, but once you get it, once you get rich in your spirit, you become rich physically. Remember, everything, it's a translation of the spirit. If you want money, that's cool. Get rich in your spirit and you'll have it. And then I'm excited because the Lord, we're doing new things. Like I have new music in a more potent way that's being produced. The Lord has initiated me to work on this clothing store. Get some of the best product and delete everything else. And, um, and now I'm starting to learn to stay in a supernatural spiritual focus on beholding image. And I'm starting to add it to this channel. And everything here is becoming better. It's, I'm upgrading. I'm promoting this thing. It's it's upgrading every day. I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. And just come here. And I'm I'm writing more in the description. I'm encoding things. Um, I have different services that I'm testing and trying. Um, different genres I'm coming up with. I'm thinking about starting like my own bookstore, like. Or just like on like it's just a video I make or I'm reading books. The bookstore where I am the bookshelf and I'm just reading books and talking about what I'm learning. I think that's going to be an exciting series we're going to launch. Um, my businesses are just skyrocketing. Like God is doing something so phenomenal. Uh, my photography, my health, businesses, so phenomenal. And it's all reeling people into God. And I'm beginning to base things off systems of wealth, not how to even find a system. And so that's good. And I'm starting to begin to better everything because I'm, I'm, I'm cutting down categories in this channel for God. Devoted to God of this music, photography, and it's getting better and better. I'm looking at my past projects and how can I upgrade them and what's going to look better and what's the introduction and I'm learning all this and it's just it's upgrading. And I know this is going to rise. It's going to rise. And then I just feel so many genres activating in me. Because the more ideals, see, God gives me all these ideas. I have this text message, 
and I keep it in my phone. It's called ideals. I keep it close to me and I check them. And God will give me all these divine ideals. And the more I accomplish them, those are quests. Those are journeys I want to go on, like Skyrim Adventures. And the more I complete these ideals, the more my life won't just be singularity, but it will be on many different genres. And I'll, and I'll begin to... Uh, Jesus. So I'm going to start knocking out these ideals and bringing them here. And I'm also going to make shorter videos of, you know what I'm saying, implementing the kingdom of heaven, talking about things that are going to change your life. I want every video not to be entertaining, but life-changing. I want people to be odd. I want it to be so... I want every kind of spiritual aspect to be in it. Inspiration, motivation, determination, God, Holy Spirit, anointing. I want all that to be in it. And then I want to make every kind of teacher video, like, because God is unlocking a teacher anointing in me. The Spirit of God is flowing. I'm here in alignment, in tune. I got my Holy Ghost lantern to outshadow, to remove the demonic parasites from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Seven streams of the blood of Jesus, like an ocean wave, it's going to echo as I speak and as the intense quietness of a whisper proceeds from the presence and throne of God according to my knowledge of scripture and my triple preparation of insight, prophetic stream, download the word that will come to me that's inside of me that'll be available in the open heaven to release the hand of the Lord in that moment for eternal expression and the Heavenly Father will come out of that and begin to roll blessings all over the place and I'm very 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 Excited about the Lord, my sword, my shield. You got to tap into this field. And I ain't talking about when you take an orange or banana and peel. I'm talking for real. Jesus. I never met another quite like him. Jesus. This is just the introduction, so I'm just going to begin the procedure by pushing the record button and activating the initiation, the introduction, the prologue of this book that's about to be released. And I realize it was not one or the other that God stays in a continual, perfect, presential flow. It's not this was better than that, that was greater than that, no, I'm seeing. It's one flow. And I feel like I'm on a lawn chair in that sunshine. And I can just relay everything that I'm witnessing and that I'm seeing and everything can turn into an instrument. Everything can turn into music. Everything can turn into a balance. Everything can turn into a turn of turns. You'll get your turn. Jesus is my turn. There's always questions that are mapped in our mind. Am I devoted? Am I dedicated? But there is a serene silence that subdues that. And there's the hand of God that upgrades. As he uplifts, he upgrades your spirit. And so in the oneness of the union of you as my focus, will I enter into that diamond expression. As I exercise my visual capacities and stay in the vision of these capacities, I get the overflow. As I present them in a word, in a tongue, in speech, in the empowerment, 
Well, it's a, it's a divine muscle flexing within each muscle. Within each layer of the brain, within each dimension of the soul. And then you love it because you're not trapped. Einstein was not trapped with the formula 2 plus 2 equals 4. Comfort zone. I'm going to stay in what I know. I know this equation. I'm going to keep it there. No, he expanded, multiplied, division. Well, division sounds bad. Subtraction sounds bad. But the battery has a plus and a minus for the equalizer to supercharge massive equipment, massive technology. And the headlights, they shine in the darkness. But your faith headlights are dim. So you won't travel down that road that was spoken about. It was spoken in a negative context. So in your conscience, it's haunted. Because you have biblical understanding, but yet lack a spiritual keen ability to see in the spirit. You don't progress because you don't understand your warriorship was to eliminate that satanic tree that was cultivating demonic powers. And God was just looking for one vessel that would stand against that Goliath in life. Many armies fleed, but there was one who saw in the eyes of faith that stood up. What other kings fear, if you're a servant and you go against that fear, all the power of their kingdom must locate you, visualize you, and focus in on you, and reverence you. Even if the king in his flesh doesn't. This law, this blessing, this reward is regardless. Okie dokie. And then triggers of effect. It can be it can be very poetic. In any given moment, on demand, you can release your spirit in a prophetic, poetic, integrated with the diamonds of Christ, on the pearl necklace of wisdom, coming on the forefront of the waterfall. On demand, at any given moment, you can tap in to the abilities according to what you saw and see. At any given point in life, you can take God, you can take spirituality, you can take life, and you can begin to map it together and see how it connects and see how it plays out. At any given moment in life, you can create your own video game. You can create your own cinematic movie in reality and see the play out of it and look at your heavenly father and see the gaze the crown the shine in the crown and look at the reflection of the eye of the crown to see what he's beholding in the circumference of himself we go to the question but there's a state called giving answer that is available in the spirit now. The availability is all in the spirit to all. If I became a spokesman that didn't believe in wrong, but only portrayed and believed in the righteousness of God and Christ, I've devoted, I've truly devoted myself to the word of God. If I have outward belief systems that are contrary, neglect the word of God, I'm still in an inward battle and I've yet to master myself. But when the hand of God dominates me, crushes me, breaks me, puts me together like a puzzle, fries me on it like a skillet, even though the egg was fried in intense heat, it made one of the most delicious dishes 
to your taste. And then in the restaurant establishment, which generates billions of dollars, the income of Life Force, people will pay to sit there and enjoy that. So if my wisdom becomes like a restaurant and it becomes like a technological categorical base system at all human fingertips, angel fingertips, and God gives me the blueprint of his creation. But I learn how to multiply what I have now to tap into a generation ahead of me. If I have an iPhone 7 and I maximize the vision of its capabilities, processing power, then I can go to iPhone 15 on demand whenever I desire. And if I see in that extension, the mind of God, which is one, someone else will get the reflection of what I saw. But in the ownership, by me speaking and releasing it, I become a co-founder of products others will generate in the physical realm. So this is co-founding ideals themselves, not just second level, I have an idea for a product, but becoming a co-owner, a manager that generated that ideal, that became available for that person to tap into and create that product, okay? Interesting enough. Now, if I can personalize the uniqueness of character and I can stay in the degree of its circumference and I can behold all of the attributes and all the spheres in Christ open up well the emerald light will begin to spin and that spinning is the circulation of spirit now if I breathe Rekadesh into this holy altar of God well it will open up the Father El Shaddai Lord Jesus Jehovah King of Kings the title resembles the emblem represents the crown of jurisdiction initiates In life, you never know what you tap into. Your mind seems to stabilize reasonings, which limit, if a treasure chest is open and there's gold in it, and I sit there and say, the treasure chest isn't open, the gold is but silver, yet there's no way for me to attain this. I'm standing right there at the throne room it is open to me, but my reasoning somewhere cuts off the reality of support, cuts off the truth of initiation, blinds the substance of the emotion that is present. Reasoning. So although reasoning seems good in certain attributes of life, When it comes to presence, all that I am. In the direction of focus, there are many seas of potential. Now, as a mature level promotes you to the captain, which is in control of the entire ship, Yet it's the ship itself that is supporting the captain. The foundation of the ship, the flag, which is representing the ability and power to traverse, travel, traverse in the sea. We get trade from here. History shows the economy was established and launched here. We have production, grain, which falls into the category of health. 
which falls into the scripture above all. I wish that you would be in health and prosper as your soul prospers. So I want your health and prosperity to be according to the prosperity of your soul, not in separation, not physical prosperity without spiritual. But I want it to be in a continuum of union, unification, unity. So the, the, there are these colors, these tapestries, these fashion designs that are very brilliant in culture. According to this festival, and so when we attune to the accordingness and we see the word of God in its spectacularity, polarity, but rather when we see it in the fashion design in the grand scheme of the cultural power of the feast and festivals of tabernacles and we enter integrate all that and enter into that mindset where all the establishment of throne room power regulates in that mindset. And when I set myself, my heart, in that attitude and I become aware of the frequency, not trying to label what God looks like, not trying to define who Jesus is in a human way. But the sound of the frequency, the capacity of the sound, and the, revel the revelation, which is the regulation of I am, then I go forward beyond what can be explained because I hit a root in the Father. So all the harvest and plantation of his mind and thought towards that, which is the establishment of realization, that's the thought of God, the establishment of realization, or God think, that's God thinking. And on a God parallel, well, the time, the time scheme, it's apprehensive. The Agility of a cheetah progresses there. The lion in the roar of its confidence shouts there. The eagle flying in the heights above everything, knowing it's above all power and attributed to that and its dominion in the wind is there, all before the throne. Not just separated from God's throne, all before the throne. Now, in the throne, that's sweet Holy Spirit. So, I understand there is a secret dimension to the human eye. When you behold an image, not scroll surpassing what looks good, which is a hint, a highlight to the human mind, which is an awe inspiration of what could be. But when you behold image, there is a supernatural gateway of introduction. Now, second, when you store your heart, spirit, and soul into that, and you place that image there, well, now you're going to get something beyond. There is a level, a realm beyond what has ever done, been done before, beyond what man has ever seen before. And it's a storehouse of the infinite spectrum of God. You may tap into this as thou desires, as thou desirest. Now, if you're tired of living an average life with God, with your creator, with Christ, well, congratulations. Look no further. Here it is. We promised to bring the depths. We vowed seeking without being is a liar. If you seek God without being one with him, in reality of the fashion 
and the secret truth, you're a liar. You, you're becoming liar. And that is the honesty of the truth of the witness of the testimony. So the witness of the testimony sees Jesus in what was done in the believer's life style. So the authority, the dominion, the crown of God, Christ, rest upon the waters of their voice, which is the river of the Holy Spirit. And the prophetic, the prophecy and fulfiller of fulfillments is within that testimony. Now, if you can break down how powerful a testimony really is and increase in awareness, increase in energy, well, now you will take the very source of power and enter into it. No longer just a manifestation of God's power, but the very essence of Creator, the very essence of the Father. It wasn't in a state of accumulation of figuring out. It was in a depths, storehouse, and spirit. So if I base high divinity off human compartments of thinking, I'll miss, I'll miss the true and tremendous outpour of the availability and the presentation and being able to speak as it. I can look at it and speak what I see, but when I enter into it, and become one with it. Well. Now. If I can dis if I can dissect. The descent of speech. And regulate and harness the highness. Of power. The highness. Of God. Well these are shrines which are shines. From the face of God which emanate into kings, leaders, priests, which the heart establishes covenant. So there is a regulation and a governmental authoritative power. When that, authorita when that authoritative power is exercised into different categories of the spirit, into different categories of regulation. Now you're understanding the government, the governor of heaven. And there are surrounding forces that are in charge of legal things and overseers. So when I realize all that in Jesus, all that power in the, is inside the Holy Spirit living inside of me, living within me, not earning to get money, not trying to figure out how to become a better person, living in me. There are vows and see heaven is so heaven is such a serious place. When they understand the disrespect See, the highest values of in heaven are the lowest appreciations on earth. And we can change that. Because the Bible teaches us what to value, what to esteem. The things in heaven before God that are so highly valued, highly esteemed, highly exalted, worthy, praiseworthy, hallelujah, are some of the lowest human appreciations. We appreciate it on earth the least. So our mind will go forward, but we will stay in the least level of heavenly activity. Now let's, let's get on an earth level. The Lord showed me. That was a divine, heavenly perspective. Just a perspective. And the mirror in between that perspective, when I flow with the Spirit and bring it to the earth, it creates a shrine, a reflection 
This activated within my gland today, the gland of perception. The gland is like a diamond. The glands you have in your being are the diamonds. And when you see from these glands, these diamonds, the wise man said, you are the most sophisticated technology on planet earth. The wise man spoke an entirety of truth, not just a nugget of knowledge, which leads to an ore, which gives you the location to distribute from that ore and the natural growth that is always sprouting in season. The wise man spoke a truth Why was I outside the temple? Because within my power was not recognized. So the door remained closed, but for me to observe the fullness of the activity taking place in the temple, on earth, according to the vision God gave me. Now there, there are paradigms of operation that can slice through your carnal mind. A blitz, see, this is the secret. You want your human mind to be obliterated. Not we tolerate it. You must go from toleration to obliteration. You gotta learn a bigger key of spiritual warfare is doing it on yourself. Father, I just ask you to take your sword and just slice me so hard. You, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus. Now, when I step in the prophetic or the apostolic by entering into the DNA of the spirit that I honor, reverence, recognize, experience God, well, I can stand within any pastor, any culture, any navigation and begin to declare the voice of God, the word, which is the voice of God and the sound, which is the experience of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now, if all these spiritual compartments were a consideration of worthiness, then the value of the diamonds must extend on each row. And look at me face to face. Many people deny the knowing of their worth, sacrificing the riches of their power. The world has taught them to humble themselves, but they go about it in the worst way possible. When you know how value you how valuable you are in Christ, and you magnify the value that was given unto you, now you will exceed past the proceeding of riches themselves. And you enter into a place, a state of becoming such a force, such a prophet, such a seer. Where all the high things of God you once chased, you won't chase anymore. And you will see the hidden capacities of the visibility unfold to you. You might have went through one year of struggle with a specific darkness, but now all the categories of this darkness will unfold to you and the light hidden will make itself known to you. Because that light can trust you not to spit in its face. Because if God makes his face known to you when you're filled with neglect, when you're filled with pride, you will spit in his face and you will die. If he makes his ways known to you, when you have a crooked behavior, you will twist and serpentine the heavenly father and you will die. Angels will initiate judgment upon you. There is this power in heaven that I've 
come to know it's the initiation power. And those beings are so devoted to the Father, they'll kill you. They'll kill you. They'll quit. They're beings of light. But when it comes to war against the Heavenly Father, they don't play. Don't matter who you are. They're not worried about your rank. Well, you're a great prophet. They're not worried. When you play against God, it gets very serious very quickly. And many people have died. They still went to heaven, but they died. Because there, there is a correlation of heavenly effects that surround a believer and one that is redeemed upon this earth. You know about the redeemed part, but do you know about the redemption part? You understand the cross, but do you understand the crucifix? Do you understand the resurrection? And have you taken these two categories and put them into one thought process? He takes you from precept to precept. Now, higher precepts integrated into divine regulation equals out not just two plus two, but equals out all outcomes. And you will surpass through your overcoming power that is available to you in the spirit. See, now we, we catch code.